everyone, my name is Anna Welch and I show how to make gluten-free, healthy, delicious foods. And today I will show you how to roast turmeric butternut squash. Turmeric is the root of a flowering plant from a ginger family. It's probably the most miraculous spice out there. Turmeric has been used in Chinese medicine for thousands of years for its amazing medicinal properties. Turmeric has over 100 compounds and the most beneficial of them is curcumin. Curcumin is a very strong antioxidant and it has very potent anti-inflammatory powers. And because of that, it helps not just preventing but also in treatment of some heart diseases and arthritis and keeps blood sugar levels steady. Curcumin increases levels of brain-derived neurotrophic factor, or BDNF in short. And that means slower aging of brain, improvement of memory, and lowering the risk of Alzheimer's and dementia diseases. Some studies even show that curcumin supplements help in treating some forms of cancer by affecting cancer growth, development, and spread on molecular level. Wow, what a glorious spice. Let me show you how to roast turmeric butternut squash. This is what we will need. Three to four pound butternut squash, a quarter cup of coconut oil, one teaspoon of turmeric powder, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, three quarters of teaspoon of ground coriander, three quarter teaspoon of ground cumin, half teaspoon of dried dill, quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg, one eighth of teaspoon of ground cardamom, and three quarter teaspoons of salt. We will start with preparing our squash by removing the seeds, peeling it, and cutting it into small, even-sized cubes. Using a melon baller is the easiest way to remove the seeds. When you are picking out the butternut squash, choose the darkest one and the heaviest to make sure it's not dried out. If you'll end up with a squash like mine, just carve the dried parts out. I also think that sharp peeler works better on squash than a knife. Our squash is ready. Now we will preheat our oven to 425 degrees and we will melt our coconut oil. I will preheat my baking sheet as well with the oven to avoid our butternut squash sticking to it. I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but I do not own a microwave oven. It was a joint decision with my husband. I find regular ovens and stove sufficient enough for all my melting and warming needs. Let's mix our spices together for the butternut squash. Unfortunately, curcumin is poorly absorbed by our bodies. To help the absorption, it is good to cook it with healthy fats. In this case, we are using coconut oil. Black pepper also helps the absorption of turmeric into the bloodstream. That's why when I cook with turmeric, I always add black pepper. Oil is melted and ready to go in. I cannot believe I'm wearing my concoction. It will dye your clothes. It will dye your nails as well. As a matter of fact, monks' clothes are dyed with turmeric. Well, anyway, it's time to put our mix and coat evenly our butternut squash. 
So let's do it carefully. And I will use wooden hands to do so. The oven and the baking sheet are preheated and it's time to roast. Make sure to assemble it in one even layer. First, we will roast it for 25 minutes. Then we will toss it and roast for 15 more minutes. Oh, smells so good and looks fantastic. We will transfer it to the plate right away to prevent further cooking. Well, I'm super excited to try it and I actually have a guest taster today, my neighbor Tracy, who will tell you what he thinks about this butternut squash. Hmm. That's good. It's crunchy a little bit. I like the I like the crunchy one better than the soft. It's kind of Mm-hmm. Very good. Love the spices. It's sweet like it should be. Excellent. I really like the crunchy part. And you see these pieces that seem burned? Those are my favorite. Mm, mm, mm. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you next time and you take care of yourself and stay healthy. Bye!